Drizzy Dre, looking like $9,457.78 in that suit we bought you. That's very specific. I got a speech for you to read, my man. I've already got a speech. Does it begin, my fellow Americans? Yeah. Well, then it's basically the same speech. Trust me, it's the least you could do for us, Dre, after we pay for your ads this rally. Come on, baby, we're looking out for you. Now, look, the new speech will be up on the teleprompter. You can read, right? Of course I can. Look at you, just breaking down stereotypes. I told you you could read. Come on, Dre, let's get out there and kill him. Your next congressperson, Andre Johnson. My fellow Americans, I stand before you today to promise that when I'm elected, I will sponsor legislation to help the working people of this country, everyday people like you. Thus, I promise to vote to slash taxes on business, provide subsidies to clean tobacco. Teleprompter man, can you scroll down a little? I, Andre Johnson, will end the tyranny of national parks Militarize the fire department? What is this? <sighs> I can't do this. Look, when you have to take millions from private interests just to run, there's no way principles can come first. Damn, Even his integrity's back. Let's shut it down, guys. The system is set Could've up had so it all, Dre. Do you know how hard it was for me to find a jacket in a 48 short? That was made by children working all night, massless. And it's not about whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. Money corrupts the best of us. I know, I'm the best and it corrupted me. It did. Huh? People, we need to reduce corporate influence on politics. Stop unlimited money in campaigns and keep track of where funds are coming from. You can take my stage. You can take the clothes off my back, but you will never take my voice. I'm sorry you all had to see me in my shame. And people wonder why I never come home anymore. Guess I blew my chances at Congress, but at least I stood up for what I believe in. Oh, babe. You didn't do that at all. It's Stacey Abrams. Just checking in to see how it went. Great, great. I mean, I stood up for what I believed in and then everyone saw my nuggets, but otherwise, great. What? <sighs> An average guy like me doesn't stand a shot against big money. It's true, the campaign with the most money wins most of the time. But there are passionate people who have dedicated their lives to making change. They're the ones who are gonna break through and beat the system. It's David versus Goliath. But never forget, in that story, David wins. Stacey Abrams was right. The odds may seem long, but with regular folks like teachers and activists and mechanics and librarians getting into politics and fighting for the common person, we can look forward to a future where our government actually looks like America. Should I keep up the fight like Stacey Abrams? Uh, it hasn't been great. You're wearing a trash bag. Half a trash bag, I can't turn around. My God, please don't turn around.